Hey guys, I'm back with another video today, and today I am annoyed because this is not only the first time I recorded it, I just did the second time and realised I'm using the same card that seems to be corrupt. So basically, as soon as I recorded this, I wiped it off and I'm redoing it all again now. So please give this video a lot of love because I went through a lot of stress trying to make this. And if you like this look and how it came out, then keep watching and I'll see you in the end. Hey guys, so we're going to start with the concealer. I wasn't a fan because look how sheer that is. I had to put quite a few layers on for to build it up. Like you can even see the brush stroke lines, which you shouldn't be in a concealer. Well, I'm going to try it a bit more to see, but for like the highlight and the coverage, but it covered good. I mean, but it's just a bit sheer. Next. As you can see, I'm using the banana powder. I've never ever tried to bake in my life. It literally went on my shirt, it went everywhere. I don't think I'll be doing this in my daily routine. Next powder. Then I bronzed and it's quite, it came out quite good pigment, as you can see. Straight from the first brush stroke, there was a lot. Next, I am. I've never tried this type of brow product before. It was so weird. It's like oil based. So I'm glad they put those on because it would have looked horrible. But I feel like it won't stay because it's oil. It would. It's easy to come off. I don't know. Next, I removed the powder. You can see a highlight, but that's not my kind of highlight. I like a boom shimmery in your face. So next I take flash and I was surprised because I thought this was supposed to be white and it turned out to be green. It matches my eyeshadow though so, you know. So I do my green eyeshadow look. So next eyeliner, my <laughs> my camera decided it wanted to cut out as soon as I applied this. But I'm just going over it. I'm not really a fan. It was very hard. You can see my skin as I'm applying mascara. You can see that. Um, yeah, I'll give it more tries, but not something I'd really recommend. It's not really that good, in my opinion. Next, the mascara. I love this mascara for the fact it smells like hair product. It smells amazing. But then again, I also wouldn't really recommend it because it didn't really do that much for my lashes. But I'll just have to try it again. I hated this lip product. It looked patchy on. It looked crumbly. I do not recommend this. Just look at the colour. It's horrible. So it's the end of the video and I'm going to do a summary of how the products are. And I'm kind of glad I've done this more than once because I've realised some products are kind of rubbish rather than I thought. Starting with foundation. Okay, I thought 
this brand does foundation but when I looked at my products they don't as you can see from the video I didn't put any foundation on and it still turned out flawless I'm surprised it actually looks good oh my god this whole time I might not have to wear, <laughs> wear foundation anymore well the concealer covers the spots I mean I've got bright under eyes now so I would say yeah the concealer is very good next that powder the banana powder I tried first time I've ever ever baked and it went pretty well considering <laughs> I liked it I just have to try that about highlighter and see how it is if it does highlight throughout the day the powder well there's not much to say about powders really they did the job it's good highlight I was not expecting this highlight and my reactions are not going to be the same because I've done this three times so it ain't a first impressions anymore but it's highlight it's not what I expected I expected it to be white because it looks white a lot of highlighters I've buying lately seem to not be the colour I thought they are Emmy Ray's white one I thought it's not actually white it's blue this turns out to be green I mean it might just smell green eyeshadow but apart from that no one's really going to be wanting green highlight which is actually surprising because I mean a lot of people like Jeffree Star's like mint condition one but I mean this is more natural it still looks whitey goldy contour very natural like the MUAs it takes time to build up it's not just bam on your face which is nice because you can have a nice glowy look I look really bronze so I really like it the brows, I was so so shocked. Look at the size of it. I did not expect it to be this massive. That's like a size of a mascara or it literally looks like a lipstick, let's be real. Because the one I used before is Boohoo. I don't even <laughs> I literally bought one beauty makeup from them. I don't even shop on them anymore. That was the face. But look at the size. Difference. Like, this will last like two years, like amazing. The next is eyeliner. I do not like this. I thought it was okay the first time around, but I'm starting to realise it drags. You probably have to like, get that product on for it to work. Also, it's not very wet, and as soon as you open an eyeliner, it should be wet. Which means, because it's more dry, you kind of can see through it. It's not really doing it properly, especially when the wing. The wing needs to be perfect, and when you're trying to drag, it's not working I don't like it it's called Lion Flick I bought the one with the thin one at the end and then the other end is the coal pencil one I haven't tried the coal pencil one yet just the eyeliner I do not like the eyeliner I think same compared to my last one Miss Wee it's just bad still my number one is going to be the MUA one eyeshadow is quite good I haven't I've got two palettes this look was from the acid brights one I also got this one because I wanted to compare it to the Emmy Ray one because the Emmy Ray's silent disco one has all these bright colours so I wanted to see which one would be better and there's some buttery ones in here and it's so amazing like the silver but then you've got the lighter ones like the pink the green wasn't that bad but I tried the pink it was so chalky it was so bad the pigment was bad next is lips awful I, I can't the fact that I had to do this three times kills me because the lips it is so so bad it's patchy it when it dries it nearly looks crumbly you can see for the cracks the lines I made a comment on makeup revolution page to reply to someone because they said oh why don't you try that cut rain the colour that I have I was like don't try it. it's crap it's like oh my god I feel bad the pigment is amazing the texture like the lips is amazing this is not amazing I'm not even going to spend my money to try another colour to see if it works because the colour is awful like on the packet like here's the packet look here doesn't that look like a browny pink like dark this is not dark this is like concealer over your lips I can do that for free it's so pale it might look alright to you on camera but on like in real life it is pale so unless you're actually pale 
this might look good because my best friend bought it at the same time as me and she loves it she didn't find it patchy or anything but for me it's a no-no i hate nude so 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 much you would never ever see me nude lips apart from compel is compel from colourpop is the, like the closest to nude you'll see me in i don't wear brown eyeshadows really ever i hate the nude spectrum so my final thoughts is everything I'm going to say is good about this brand that I've tried so far. Apart, oh I forgot to mention the mascara. The mascara because I don't think it gives you volume. What it says on the mascara is for definition which yeah defines your lashes because you can see them but it doesn't really do much to them, doesn't give them vo length, volume. So I wouldn't really recommend it. It's not a must have. You'll die if you don't try this mascara, like that ain't never gonna happen. Lips, stick, never recommend. And I tried the lip pencil three times and it's literally blunt. But like I'm gonna have to sharpen it now. So that's just silly. So I like the brows, eyeliner is a no-no. So lips, mascara and eyeliner is not something you need. But I feel like the bronzer, if you're into that right now it actually looks quite whitey but in real life it gives it's got that green tint so yeah everything else is good i'm sorry if i missed anything out but i'm kind of over this video <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the look if you want to request any brands let me know because i do have a few in mind but at the same time this is coming out of my own pocket so I'm trying to do as cheap, as cheerful as I can and products that I know that I can kind of use which is why I don't have any primers or anything because I'm not wasting money on something that I know I don't even use but yeah let me wrap this up here and until then I'll see you guys next time